Well, happy days, my fantastic artistic friends. Welcome back to the painting channel with me, Master Temple. Now, as I'm recording this video, it's Friday afternoon. You'll be seeing this on a Sunday morning. I'll hopefully hope all goes well. We're right in the middle of the storm, Storm uh, Eunice, and I thought I'd leave the music off the back of this video just to see how we get some sound effects from outside. It's, it's quite horrific where we are, and uh, I do hope that you all came through it all okay. Okay, but let's get on with the painting. So on this big canvas, it's double primed, it's pre-stretched. What I've done, I've taken some grey spray paint, some grey spray primer, and just spray painted a few um, irregular, you know, patterns up there. Allow that to dry completely, then I've taken liquid clear and liquid white, and just completely coated the whole thing. So you can still see some of the grey showing through in places, and other parts are quite opaque where the white is. So let's get on with it. All being well, we'll paint a nice stormy painting up here while we've got some sound effects from Mother Nature. All right, so I'm going to take a one inch paintbrush for this one and I'm just going to hit some. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of, uh, of blue. This is French Ultramarine and I'm just going to go round about here, not much, just a little bit above the horizon, just like this. Now it may mix in with some of this white. And depending on what we're wanting, uh, how we go with this one, I'm not too sure on where we're going to go with it. But depending on what we're wanting, we may come back in here and tone it down with a little bit of a little bit of white. So I'm just going to do that just there, like so. Don't want much in this one. Don't want much blue skies in this one. It's not a blue sky day. I I went to work earlier and whoa, wow, yes. Not a good time, not a good time, but we'll get through it, we'll get through it. Okay, with that done, with that done, I'll just take a little bit more. You see, if you can hear some bangings and knockings and everything, it's everything flying around the, the place. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit here and there, a blue, up here, there and here. Don't know where, just a tiny little accent of blue. Just here and there. Of course, we'll come back and we'll we'll merge everything that we put up in the sky together. Okay, now let's change brushes, and I'm going to take a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit of a Liz and Crimson. I've got a big brush now, a Liz and Crimson, a little bit of burnt sienna. Okay, and I'm just going to whip in here a little bit of grey ready spot here and there and there and here just where we want them just like that go into the blue if you want just like that we're going to put some big storm clouds on this some big storm clouds really big frightfully crashing banging clouds and if the lights go out and we've had a power cut <laughs> You'll have to join me in part two on this one. Okay, so we'll just get rid of that down there as well. We're going to have some fog and mist and everything. Right, so without cleaning the brush, just wipe it on a little bit of a paper towel. I'm going to pick up a touch of Midnight Black. Just tap that in there. A little bit of Midnight Black. And then I'm just going to swirl. Swirl this around. Just like that. Just swirl that around. Really get up there. Of course, as less paint is on the brush, we get a little bit lighter towards the horizon. Just swirl this around. Go into the blue. Go into that light spot there. There we go. Okay. Just merge all these together. Now what I'm going to do is try and blend and bleed them all together. <laughs> Just like that. Mother Nature is such a fantastic, fantastic, you know, element, isn't it? Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a, a clean brush and I'm going to take, make sure it's clean and dry. Because we've got a bit of liquid clear up there, we don't really want to take any paint thinner into that just yet. Now I'm just going to tap in a little bit of liquid white and just where these two clouds meet, well where these meet, 
just going to really soften that up. We don't want a vivid bright blue sky. Uh, just put a little bit of a grey tone there. Bring that down like that. And then get, get tough with it, okay? Maybe a little bit more of a light spot just there. And you're thinking, well, that looks a mess already, Dan. <laughs> you've, really, you've really done it this time, but you might not be right, you know. You might not get to see this one. <laughs> no, I'm sure we'll all work out right in the end. I'm sure it will. Yes. A lot of, a lot of different colours in the sky already. I'm going to take a tiny bit of Indian yellow. And I'm going to just tap a bit in there as well. Just like that. give it another variant of colour and then well we've got that dirty brush going a bit of purple as well just swirl that in just there like so there let me get rid of that brush those big big brushes you know <laughs> they get your grip you know okay right let's take I'm gonna take the half rounded brush Okay, and I'm going to hit a little bit of white paint and I'm going to take it up here maybe, let's mix some colour, so I'm going to take some white and I'm going to add a tiny bit of black to that, so a little grey colour, don't over mix, okay, we can always add more white paint, because we're on the rounded brush, what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this way, like that, <laughs> and then work his way up, like so, there, like that, bring that up there, I'll create all sorts of irregular shapes, okay, let's go to a, this has got a bit of blue on it, so we'll just use that. And just swirl the base of that into the painting, just the base. There, and just gently tease that together, just tease it. Okay, let's go back to the, the brush that's got the white paint on it, the grey white paint on. And then we'll come down here again. Create all kinds of little cloudy shapes. Go into the yellows, go into the purples, go into the reds and blacks. Okay, and a bit more up here perhaps. Maybe a little blue spot showing through there. You really get stuck into this one. Mama Nature ain't messing about today, folks. Really big grey, grey blue, blacky clouds. There we go. We might even put a little bit of lightning in this. See if we can fix that in. See if we can get that put somewhere. Right, which bush did I have? I had you, didn't I? Okay, so back in with this. And turn and twirl. Turn and twirl, but don't try and hit the top edge of your cloud. Just the underside. I know it looks like I am hitting the top edge, but I'm not. Just the underside of the cloud that wants to hit. Blend them in. And of course, if you do hit the top edge, just come back in and reaffirm that together. That's no problem. There, like so. Right, I'm going to take a big brush, watch this got on it, next to nothing. And then I'm just going to tease this up a little bit, just tease. A lot of paint on there in places. And again, if you get some swirly bits, that's all right. The sky is alive today. There, down like so. 
All right. Let's put some more dark in that cloud. I want a bit more. I want it darker in places. So we're uh, just here. Really smudging. Some greys and dark. Let's mix a bit of blue in with that as well. And we'll come back up in here. Maybe touching in there as well. Bit up here. Okay, right, let's get back to this one. A bit of white paint. Really put these in. <laughs> so I'm going over the top of that dark paint. Over the top of that. where we think these clouds live that's exactly where we want to put them really big stormy looking clouds down there as well let's feather that off down here right let's bring that together now let's take all that together so again take this brush and just twirl the base of those clouds together Trying to take care not to touch any of the top edges. But I have done there, so I'll come back and reconfirm that. And you can build, if you've got lots of time, you can build lots and lots of different layers of clouds, if you so wish. Lots of different shapes and Patterns of clouds. Let's get a different brush. Too slow, too slow. So go up, go up, tease up, tease up. So I'm going big circles upwards. Really swirl this sky up. There we go. And then just gently go across, just take out all those little stringy bits that we see up there. Okay, let's work on this one again. So let's just merge these together. Blend them into the sky. Again, just blend that out. Yeah, like so. Right, I don't want to fast forward any of my videos from now on. I ne never ever got any intention of doing that. So you'll have to bear with me. If the lights go out, we'll keep it playing, yeah? Four hour long video. Right, so I'm just going to re-firm some of these edges. Just like that. And you can do that. Definitely, definitely do that. Big old clouds. There we go. Don't know where we're going to put some lightning. But we might have some. We might have some, right, down here. Yes, yeah, so I hope you're all keeping well anyway with this. Not, uh, not, not the nicest. Sounds like someone's knocking at the door. Yeah, so we'll just blend these together. Just picked up a different brush there, just, just for ease. Just grabbed something. Just gonna blend that, blend that out. Blend that out, blend that. There. Too slow, Dan, too slow. Let's get up here. Let's get the big one involved. There again, just take out the tap marks. And if you're painting along and you're pausing, please do feel free to let me know how it's going for you. Up and down, up and down, there we go. There, like so. So I think that you, sometimes it pays to take a step back. Big old storm cloud, storm. Eunice, this is Eunice, isn't it? Okay, so I'm just gonna add some white paint just down here. Just a bit of white paint, just down there. We're gonna have some 
fog in the foreground, I think. Let's really push that in. Right. There we go. Because it's such a cold day as well, the oils that I paint with, the liquid clears and, and things like that, they kind of go really stiff. So blending colour up here is possible, but it, it gets it gets kind of uh, difficult at times. <laughs> anyway, that's that's my baby, isn't it? But that's what happens. Right, I'm going to take a tiny bit of liquid white. Liquid white, maybe put a bit of thinner in with that. Really thin it down. Really thin it down. Maybe, maybe in certain places you can see a little bit of lightning just busting through the clouds, just there like that. Maybe one up here. Fork lightning in the clouds. Yeah, like so. Maybe one up here. Yeah. Bursting out of the clouds. Ooh, where's this going? We don't know. Down there, down there. Wherever these forks need to be. Yeah, maybe. Wherever that lightning lives, that's where it should live. Because we'll put a bit of paint thinner on this. There will be a little glow, a little bit of an effect afterwards. It, as the paint thinner reacts with the with the clear that's up here. Yeah, like that. Yeah, right, let's wash the brush. Right, I'm sure that gets lower and lower every day. Right, let's work on a little bit of a hill. So I'm going to take a fan brush. Okay, don't want much of a hill. Let's get a bigger fan brush wherever I put you. I'll put you there. Okay. I'm going to take some brown paint. I'm just going to hit a tiny bit of white with that. I just want, just back here, Far away little hill. Maybe peter that off into nothing. Feather that off into nothing. Just there like so. Then take a, a brush. I've got so many brushes on the go that are all dirty now, but it happens. I'm trying not to clean the brushes. So I just wanna... <laughs> we're gonna have to do I think at some point. So we've got a little hill there. Now let's Blend that into the mist. You know, I'll just mist that up. Okay, now let's put another one in front of that. So a bit more darker paint. Just the browns, that's all, just the browns. And let's raise this one up. Just there like so. We don't know where this one's going. Maybe a bit of black into that. And all I'm bothered about is that nice edge on the top. All this we could just just scrub in like we're doing. Just like that. And back to the brush. In fact, we pick up this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, like so, and then just blend that out. Same with this side. The brush, stro the brush strokes <laughs> that you made with a fan brush will give some sort of definition to your to your hill you don't really have to work really hard at that there we go let's blend that down into nothing okay and then let's do it again let's put another one in so a bit more black into this the browns maybe a touch of crimson in with that as well why not for old time's sake right I'm going down there <laughs> And we'll just come down, wiggle that, and jiggle it. There, like that. And then just tap that in. And get that out there, wherever it needs to go. Just there. Like so, right, now, again. 
Just tap, tap, tap. And pull. And then just blend these out to nothingness. Nothingness. Okay, so I'll knock off the excess paint and pick up a piece of white piece, a bit of white paint, just tap that into the base there, really firmly tap the white paint, we didn't put much uh, white on the canvas, I wanted some of this grey stuff to show through, but we can put some of this white on there and create all kinds of foggy, misty effects just down there, and then just tickle them together just like that, yeah. There we go. Okay, maybe even lift up slightly. Might give you an indication of a, a few little trees. We are going to put a few little trees in this. I know, I know a lot of you like little trees. Yeah, like that. So now we've got. Let me put another one in. These things happen. These things happen. Wipe the brush, flip the brush over and just tap. Storm Eunice. There we go. Maybe a bit more up there as well. So I know there's, there's parts of the country that are in blackouts and trains have been derailed, well not derailed, but services have had to stop, trampolines have gone. Yeah, it's getting a bit nerve wracking. There we go with that one. Okay, I'm going to wash this brush. So, swirl it in paint thinner. And knock off the excess. Okay, and again, just bring that together. Just the base down there. Now, I'm going to add some more white paint down here. Just really tap that white paint in. Like that. Really tap that in. And then you can go upwards. Like one of these clouds has fallen out of the sky. Swirl it all together. Bring it all together. Just like that. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a little tiny, uh, where is it, any kind of brush will do, this one will do, if I can pick it up, <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe just right in the distance, just here, there's one little tiny tree that's just holding on for dear life. Maybe, maybe, I'm thinking about that. Right, let's let's see how we're gonna go. I think I'm gonna have a big tree falling over, I think. So, before we do that, I'm gonna pick up the palette knife and I'm gonna get some of this blacky, browny, bluey. We'll add some crimson into that as well. So we've got a big range of colors all on the palette there. I don't know if you can see that. Scrape that off, okay, and I'm going to add another cloud, so I'm just going to come around this mountain here, so, so I'm just going to really push that in, there like so, so it's a low lying cloud, that just lives there, maybe we'll push it in as well there, and really build up the thickness of the paint. can get straight into some black and add some black onto that as well but really jiggle your arm as you're doing this really side to side it so these clouds are low lying okay and just slightly go across that Break that up a bit, and then just this way as well with this one. Like that. There we go. So we've got 
got some of those clouds. All right, now let's re-firm that edge. All the way up there like that. Should have put them in first, right? Right, let's take that little tree out. I wasn't happy with that. Poor little tree. But we know he's there. We'll come back in, put him in somewhere else. <laughs> now I feel sad now. Ooh. Come on down, paint quicker, paint faster. Okay. A bit more paint on this side. Down we come, down we come, down we come. Okay, right. Let's get back into the whites. Just trying to tickle some of this up. Storm you, Mavis Eunice, whatever it's called. Storm Eunice, what a name for a storm, eh? What a name for a storm. Right, what I'm going to do, I'll put his little friendly tree back in. So I'll pick up some paint thinner, run into some brown here, some brown paint, and I think we'll have, we'll have this one. Ooh. Maybe, come on, make a commitment down, just there, like that, and then that's half. See, that's better. That's better, there's a little bit more, you can see him. You can see, wow, it's growing. It's not a small tree anymore. There we go, blowing over, look. Just bring that down. There, maybe add a bit of black onto this side. You can play with this however you, however you like when you're doing these sort of scenes at home. I just want to show you how I'm doing it. And then you can fire away if you wish, or you can just sit back and enjoy and relax, as many of you guys do. Yeah, like that. Okay, back to the brush with the whites on. I'm just going to blend that base out. Blend that base of that tree out so it's sat in the clouds. There, like so. Okay, let's go into another one. Mm, that's quite good actually. Let's paint a, another tree. So again, we'll pick up a little bit thicker brush this time. And then we'll have this one. Ooh, that's life off there. All the way down, like so. Uh, bring it around. Make this tree a little bit thicker at the base. That's what we're after, aren't we? <laughs> or the fall over, and that's what's well, that's actually what's happening out there. There's a few trees I've seen today upended. There we go. And just take that out. We'll blend that into the into the uh, mist. Back to some of this thick. A thin paint and we can put some more of course we want the wind to come this way so I don't know if you can see that we'll, we'll put all kinds of twigs and sticks but they're all they're all going in the same direction the wind is really blowing them over yeah I don't know if you can hear that but there's a lot of birds actually tweeting I don't know if they've taken refuge in the shed next door. Did you hear that? Crazy. Yeah. There we go. Right. And then again, we'll come back with the white paint down at the base. And we can intentionally pick up some of the, the tree colour. And that will give us an indication of like muck and dirt underneath the uh, underneath the tree that's sat in the mist. So we've got two now. We need something on this side, right? Maybe a bit more white paint. 
really get in there. Really get in there. Don't know what's coming over. Let's let's mm, let's think about this. I'm going to take some blue, and I'm just going to maybe put an indication of where perhaps a river would be, but you can't really see it because of the because of the the mist and the fog, the storm, just push that in. I don't know, I don't know. Is this dry? I don't know, we'll just use it anyway. We'll just take that across there like that. So maybe, maybe there would have been a, well there's a watercourse there somewhere. We know there is. Some more white paint at the base of these hills. There we go. All right, now let's put something here. We need something down here, don't we? But what do we have? What do we have? Right, I'm going to take a little knife, which I've just painted on. And I think we will have something there. Right. Let's take some brown paint, black paint, crimson paint, whatever we've got. And I'm just going to plow this on there. And down there like so. Know what that is? Nah, neither do I yet. I was hoping you guys would tell me. <laughs> really plough this paint on. I'll add a bit of black on this side as well. Like so. There we go. Then down here. What is that? What is that down? Well, let's just scrub in and see. Let's just scrub in and see. So that's down there like so. Really plough this paint on, big and thick. Plenty of it as well. Plenty of paint down there. I know this is not my usual kind of painting. I don't like to paint dead trees or things like this. The disruption of nature, but it, it happens. We can't, can't get away from it, can we? It happens sometimes. Right, some black paint underneath that. Lift that up there. Have we got any light paint? I've got some light brown from earlier. I can add some of this light brown paint there. Again, the thicker you put this on, the more like bark it'll become. And the heavier your painting will be. Really just put a few little light spots just there like that. Of course we'll come and put some branches on this. This part, this is a fallen tree. Fallen tree, bless it. Uh, it's down there maybe. Bit up here. A bit more of the darks. So when you're looking for inspiration, it could be absolutely anywhere. It could be anywhere. I'm just going to scrape in. And there, some little indications where they've snapped off. There, like so. Again up there. Like that. Maybe some more this way. It's starting to rain now, in fact it looks like hail. Yeah, like that. So we've got a tree that has fallen. Put a bit of shadow in there. Right, let's add some limbs to this tree. 
All right, let's take some thin paint. And then we can come up there. Maybe another one. Come in with a script liner brush as well and really get some twigs and, and whatnots put on this. Let's get that. Let's get that done. We want to go. We want to go back inside and get a nice cup of coffee, don't we? A cup of tea, Yorkshire tea. That's what we're after. Okay, so so we really thin this down. Just add that. They say you don't have to be mad to be an artist, but it certainly helps. It certainly helps. So we just add some more of these down there. Like so, uh, a bit more maybe on this one. Uh, uh, uh. Make those sounds, those wonky sounds, uh, 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 so it works for you. It works for you. I don't know if you can even hear me over there. Oh, uh, <laughs> I've got some hung on the back of the door, you know, it's a saw. And that keeps rattling about. Here, there and everywhere. Well, this is a bit of a, an unusual painting. But it's a bit of an unusual day. Just pull some of that down. It really is. So I can take some of these sticks. Go that way. Really set them off. We'll come back here in a second and just really neaten that end up. further into there just like that so let me know how we're getting on folks do you enjoy this one put a little stick there as well and there, fill this in a little bit different from what we do on the painting channel but sometimes we need these dark compositions to make the light compositions really show through and, and you'll find that when you're creating your works of art as well you know, some days you might have a dark day, some days you might actually have a really good day and really put a vibrant painting on. So what I want to do before I just finish off, I want to thank everybody that started to subscribe to the channel and come across and watch and, and, uh, and, and leaving nice comments. And in a couple of weeks time, I'm going to have a painting that, uh, that I'm going to give away as a little bit of a thank you. So if, you, if you're interested in winning one of these paintings, Possibly not this one. It's a bit grim, it's a bit grim isn't it? Unless you want this one, let me know. But um, what we're going to do is, is paint a nice big painting and and give it away to somebody that's a subscriber. I've I've done this in the past on uh, on a, a channel that now that now is coin collecting. Um, so we'll do that again for you guys. So what I'm going to do just just clean this up just a little bit just like that just there like so bring that down maybe even darken it somewhere on this side like that could even come back grab a bit of green even just tone that down if you're this close you might see a bit of greenery There we go. So time to sign this one. Let me know how we've done, folks. It's not a bad picture. It's a little bit crazy. I know that. I'm going to sign this one just. In fact, we'll put you there. Right. Just like that. Okay, but you stay safe, especially during this kind of weather. Take care of yourself. Let me know how we've got on. Until then.